how to make a chicken pop. That almost sounds like a joke or cluck. Cluck and pop. No, we are making chicken drumsticks next level as plum chicken pops. Chicken drumsticks are a barbecue favorite. The lowly old regular drumstick. Pretty cool technique to make this happen. It's basically known as Frenching, and uh, it's pulling out the little tendons and cutting it in this in this way to have everything contract up so you got a little handle on it. And chicken drumsticks have always been a favorite in barbecue. I loved them as a kid because not only do they taste good, they're handheld, portable, fun. And as a grown-up, I appreciate that the dark cuts of chicken are really easy to cook without drying out, especially on your electric smoker. It's also inexpensive, too. So um, this is one of my favorite recipes, page 50 of the Complete Electric Smoker Cookbook. You really should check it out. And it's on sale now on Amazon, worth checking out. We've added a sweet and sticky plum sauce that really takes the drumstick to a next level of flavor. I love the handle that we get to make. It, the, not only does it look cool by Frenching it, it could potentially keep your fingers from getting too sticky, but I get the sauce all over the place. And everybody, just young and old, thinks this thing looks really cool. So, so basically, you've seen me do a couple of these. It's cutting along, and I'm using the Yoshi blade. This knife is a, it looks unusual. It's white, it's ceramic, and um, actually works pretty good. It's a couple years old and still keeps sharp. But you cut along the base, and then you can stretch as much of the skin as possible on the drumstick, and you pluck these little tendons out and sometimes they come out easy sometimes they're hard you really need to use like a either a needle nose plier or a regular hardware pair of pliers and I like to keep a stainless steel pair around that you sanitize it definitely after every use and have one for food use for this but a regular old cheap pair of uh, pliers from the hardware store works just fine just gotta make sure it's all sanitized you can also use a paper towel to help really grip the skin side of each leg and then just it's a little bit of work but you're cutting around the base of the drumstick and then plucking out the tendons just like this sprinkle each one with a little salt and pepper try and get a little bit under the skin as well and then you head to the smoker so we've prepped the chicken and pulled the tendons they're gonna go on for about 90 minutes at 250 now onto this plum sauce, and actually the sauce really works good for wings too. It's super sticky, and it involves a 16 ounce jar of plum jam, about three fourths of a 16 ounce jar of the jam. I think it's Smucker's makes a great one. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of minced onion, one teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes, one clove of garlic, minced, one half teaspoon of ground ginger, and then just a little bit of salt and pepper to uh, your taste. I actually had too much black pepper when I made it, but the great thing is when this simmers down, it makes for a really thick, sticky sauce, which I love, and because I don't just brush these pops with the sauce. I like to try dredge sauces on my chicken pops and even turkey legs. The stickier here, the better. As for smoking, I use cherry wood. Any fruit wood is great. Just by Frenching these, pulling the, the little extra step to pull the tendons out really takes something simple and makes it really pretty cool. How to make a chicken pop. Plum chicken pops, really good. And again, from my new cookbook, the Complete Electric Smoker Cookbook, page 50 on there. Check it out and get it now via my page at barbecuetricks.com. Got any questions? You can leave them in the comments here. And by all means, we'd love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And for more tips, tricks, other fun stuff, head over to www.barbecuetricks.com.